Welcome back. It's the Dr. Barbary post-game show here on the Talking Sports Network presented by North Texas Ford Dealers. It's time for our Tech Stock about New Holland post-game interview. Normally we'll be with Coach uh, Lon Reisman. Uh, tonight, though, we're going to have a special guest. Ryan Cox joins us uh, as he got to witness the whole game. Of course, Ryan uh, in the communications department for Tarleton uh, State University. And, Ryan, we had a, uh, it's just kind of one of those games where the Texans it didn't feel like they could ever really – you know, get the ball rolling, rolling and stay consistent. They had one guy that did most of the work offensively most of the night. Of course, of course Chance Chambers with a great game, but didn't get a lot of help from, from a lot of people. And I think the big thing that stands out here in this contest, and I talked about it most of the game, was bench points. The Texans got outscored 35-5. to five. Yeah, and that can't happen. I mean, we have a, a deep team, a lot of guys that could come in and step up and score offensively, play good defense. That just didn't happen tonight. And then, uh, anytime we score... We're known for our defense, but we couldn't get that stop we needed. You know, uh, AM Commerce, they, could, they couldn't miss from the outside, it seemed like. Yeah, they shot very well from uh, outside uh, as well. And they really did it not just, um, you know, early on in the game. It was late in the game they were making shots. They're 10 of 23 from behind the three-point line. They shoot almost 44%. And that's not to mention the 50% that they shot uh, from the rest of the court. So it was just one of those games that, you know, every time the Texans kind of crawled and scratched their way back into the contest, you know, they had an answer every single time it seemed, it seemed like. Yeah, without a doubt. They made uh, ten three-pointers. We only had seven, but two of those were down in the final seconds of the game. So we, we struggled from the outside. But another thing that stands out, the ball movement. We only had six assists in the game. Yeah. They had 17 to our 13 turnovers. You can't have six assists and 13 turnovers to try to win on the road. Yeah, and when a team that does so good like the Lions have done all season uh, on limiting the amount of turnovers, they only had nine turnovers in the contest. That really, um, especially when you're trying to come back, if a team doesn't turn the ball over, how are you? going to get back in the game uh, that you're down double digits. Absolutely, and uh, teams, I mean, the way we've been playing this year, teams have to play a near-perfect game to beat us, even on the road. That, I mean, that just shows how good of a team Tarleton is, and uh, a and Commerce, they drew it up just how they want it, but you have you know, most of your starters only scoring, no bench production, the ball's not moving, uh, big men are getting in foul trouble. That's the game plan to beat us, and that's what, uh, that's what te Texas A&M Commerce did tonight. I, I think also we're starting to see some of those injuries that have piled up guys like Denzel Smith and uh, Josh Holly. How much you miss those guys coming off the bench? Oh, absolutely. The, the depth, the size, that, that plays a big role, especially late in the season when the minutes are adding up and they have some experience coming off the bench or playing year in, year out with the Texans. And, uh, you know, some guys are going to have to step up when you get to the final point. Next Thursday is going to be huge when you play, depending on what they're doing right now, Texas Permian Basin, you could be playing for a conference title next Thursday on the road. And so the guys have to you know, flush this one out and regroup and, and get ready for another big game. Yeah, that, that game becomes even more important because it looks like West Texas A&M is going to fall to Kingsville. They're down 75-59 to 59 with about a minute 30 left in the game. It is a close state. Texas Permian Basin, close game, I should say. Texas Permian Basin leading Angelo State 69-66. to 66. So we'll have to keep an eye on that one for the rest of the night. But, yeah, uh, if, if both team, if things play out like they are right now, you're looking at that Thursday night game and a victory for your Texans being an outright championship in the Lone Star Conference. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, you want to win every game you play, but also in a sense, you know, it's, it adds more excitement sure. for coming up for next Thursday because you want to be able to control how things play out. And the Texans have the control in their hands now. If they win, they're the conference champions coming up on Thursday. And that's, you know, that's what you work, all hard, all work hard for all season long, and now they have that chance. Final thought, you know, the regional rankings came out yesterday. The Texans were first. We'll have to keep an eye on that for next week because they won't play again before the next rankings come out next Wednesday. So we'll have to keep an eye on that and see where that goes. I still think they have a very good chance to host those if they can make another run and put things together going into the Lone Star Conference. Ryan, hey, man, thanks for joining us tonight. Enjoyed it enjoyed it. Well, hey, stay safe. Uh, stay safe. You, you rode separate from the team tonight. Got a long uh, road trip tonight, so uh, uh, stay awake, and uh, thanks again for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you. All right,